This is part 43 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll implement delete operation in Blazor, that is delete employee row from the underlying employees database table. So the first thing that we want to do is include delete button on edit employee component. At the moment, we have our edit employee component view file open. We want the delete button right at the bottom of the form next to the submit button. It's going to be very similar to the submit button. So let's make a copy of that and change the text to delete. This is not a submit button. So let's change the type to regular button. And when this button is clicked, we want to call a method in our component class. So let's attach on click event handler. Let's call the method delete underscore click. We don't have this method in our component class yet. So let's create it. It's going to be protected async method returns a task and the name of the method is delete underscore click. What do we want this method to do? Well, we want it to delete employee record from the underlying employees database table. For that, within our I employee service interface, we need delete employee method. It's going to return a task. The name of the method is delete employee. And for it to be able to delete an employee, we need the ID of the employee. So let's pass it as a parameter. Our obvious next step is to implement this method in employee service. To have the method signature auto generated for us, press control period and select implement interface. The method stub is generated here and the implementation is a one liner. On this injected HTTP client service, we call delete async and to our API endpoint, API slash employees, we are appending this incoming employee ID. And then it is our API controller that takes care of deleting the respective employee record from the underlying employees database table. We implemented delete employee method within our API controller, that is this employees controller in our previous videos in this series. And as the name implies, this delete async method is an asynchronous method and we are awaiting its completion here. So let's not forget to turn this method into an async method. Finally, in our edit employee component class, inside this delete underscore click event handler, we want to call employee service delete employee method. And notice employee service is already injected into this component. And on this employee service, we have delete employee. And to this method, we have to pass the ID of the employee whose record we want to delete. And we get the employee ID from the employee object. Delete employee is an asynchronous operation. So let's await its completion. And after the employee record is deleted, let's redirect the user to the employee list component. And for that, we use navigation manager service. And this code right here actually redirects us to employee list component. Remember, employee list component is available at the root application URL. That's why we have specified the path as a single forward slash. With all these changes in place, let's run our project and take a look at the browser. At the moment, we are on employee list component and we have a delete button here as well. When we click this, nothing happens. We'll implement this delete button in our upcoming videos. What we implemented today is delete button on our edit employee component. Notice we forgot to use the bootstrap btn danger class, which renders this button with a red background color. We'll do that in just a bit. As far as the visibility of this delete button is concerned, we have a small issue. Remember, we use this edit employee component for two workflows, editing existing employee data as well as creating a new employee. When we use this edit employee component to create a new employee, displaying this delete button doesn't make any sense. So we want to keep it hidden. So for that, we're using this if check. If employee ID is greater than zero, then we know we are editing existing employee data and only then render this delete button. And I'm also using this bootstrap btn danger class. Notice now, when we use edit employee component to create a new employee, we don't see the delete button. On the other hand, when we edit existing employee data, we see the delete button. And when we click this, the respective employee record is deleted and we are redirected to the list page. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.